Hello, I'm Marcel. I will do a little presentation about uh, my uh, chosen design principle. Uh, design principle now. I'm in some park. There's nice uh, surroundings here. I enjoy presenting in the environment like this. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, my design principle of choice for this uh, assignment is the weakest link. And the weakest link is the last one in the book. They are in alphabetic order, so you, you just scroll down to, uh, to the end of the book to find it. And the weakest link is uh, uh, design. Uh, I, I consider it to be like a protection mechanism for all kind of uh, uh, designs. And uh, the name, of course, comes from the weakest link in a chain, as we all know. The weakest link is the one to break first. And uh, since all chains have a weakest link, and all designs have one, uh, it's uh, better to prepare for it. And we can uh, utilize this fact that there is a, ch a point of failure that probably will break. So we can design uh, it to be a reliable point of failure, so that, so that we can rely that it is always that point exactly which breaks. And uh, uh, so, so we, our design can uh, fail uh, gracefully and collapse to zero energy state or whatever we want to do with the problem. But uh, just to make sure that we are in control of the situation and we have designed for it. Uh, we, can, uh, uh, we need to identify these points in a design and in the, identify them reliably and then design make sure that that is exactly in. Uh, the right uh, weak link that we identify. Here is a, an Im image of a stress test of a bridge where uh, through simulation uh, and stress, stress, stress testing we can uh, uh, identify the proper uh, weakest link. And uh, in the book uh, this uh, is one of the examples given of a weakest link and it is a car uh, uh, and uh, the weakest links in this car are in the begin, in the front of the re and the rear of the car. So in case of accident, those points will break first and collapse first uh, in kind of case of accident and protect the people inside. And here is another uh, example of a uh, weakest link. It's a, a sprinkler. We've all seen these. And basically this is a, a, a little part that uh, breaks pretty easily if there's heat and uh, that activates the uh, fire fire extinguishing system. And of course I think uh, the best uh, example of this weakest link and uh, also mentioned in the book is a fuse in electrical uh, circuits. And a fuse as we know is the part in electrics which always is pretty much guaranteed to break in case of uh, electric surge or short circuiting or something like that. And uh, for this course my uh, favorite uh, design object is an Arduino microcontroller which I have one right here. So this of course is also protected by actually several fuses uh, to protect uh, the more uh, 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 important design from, from uh, simple electric surges. And here is another uh, example of uh, of uh, electric cir circuit that w has more fuses. This is a redesign of the original Arduino. It's called Rugged Duino, and it has more fuses. So basically, it has more points of breaking that it tries to guarantee that uh, things break. Uh, I mean, uh, little things break before sm big things break. And I organized this cycling for libraries bicycle tour. And we do this a lot, so we, f we fix bike tires and bike tubes. And uh, so everyone who rides a bike know knows exactly that bikes have a single uh, weakest point, or when have a single uh, have a weakest point, and it's the bike tube uh, inside the tire, and that is the one which will puncture. And that's good, good to know, and it's good, uh, good because we can prepare for it. And uh, fixing these uh, tubes is so much easier than actually trying to uh, have some, instead of having like structural damage on the bike or something like that. 
and uh, here's a very gross story of um, uh, my friend friend's mother is a Catila uh, a uh, who helps uh, women have babies and what they do instead of uh, making a proper cut in the woman's stomach if there is a, in a Caesar Lakehouse these people actually will just make a little cut and rip the flesh apart that is disgusting that's gross but uh, it's a good yeah, a very good and novel way to uh, make an operation because in the flesh the weakest point weakest link will break first and that's the best for recovery it's disgusting but that's the best for recovery because the weakest you don't have to cut strong parts you just rip the weakest apart and computers also break as we know uh, a weakest link can be found uh, I don't know how how much they have thought about this in case of computers crashing but but there's also weakest links in there and having a computer crash is a good thing because every time a computer crashes it means that it has stopped before real damage has happened so if there's a software problem hopefully hopefully the computer crashes uh, really quickly and uh, not let uh, the erroneous uh, situation continue and uh, deliver more damage and I, uh, I was doing this uh, presentation and reading about these uh, uh, design principles. So I was wondering about uh, uh, how universal this uh, weakest link is. So, for example, in urban design, what is the weakest link? Here's Tampere. And here is a uh, user interface design I made. So, for all kinds of design situations and all kinds of design uh, designs, does this apply? Is is this universal? Can you can we think that everything can have this weakest link? I like it, but I'm not sure if it's very universal. And I didn't find basically any sources on this uh, by googling or looking around. But in Wikipedia, there's an article called uh, "Strong Link, Weak Link," and it is uh, an article about uh, a detonation uh, safety mechanism in nuclear weapons. And that basically has a weak link that breaks before the system explodes uh, accidentally. And here are some other uh, design principles for this uh, from the same book that are related to this one. Okay, and according to my clock, that is 6:20. So time.